Mm-hmm. It says, Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever lives to make intercession for them. Wherefore he is able to save them to the uttermost, listen, that come to him. He is able to save them to the uttermost that come to him. That's important to note because Hebrews 11.6, which is a famous verse, infants should, I don't believe infants know this verse. Right? Hebrews 11.6, Amen. without faith, come on, it is impossible to please them for they that must believe of them that diligently seek them. So he's able to save them to the uttermost that come to him. And without faith it is impossible to please him. For they that come to him must believe that he is. Wow. Now, he is what? They must believe that he is able. Yep. They must believe that he is all things, that he is declared in his word. He is delivered. He is king. He is sovereign. He is merciful. He is compassionate. He is gracious. He is truth. He is righteousness. He is holy. He is beautiful. They that come to him must believe that he is. And if they come to him, he's able to save them to the uttermost. So get this. It says, they that come to him must believe that he is all those things that are saying, and he's a rewarder. Because they must believe that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Who? what does it mean to diligently seek him? Let's talk about that. And we're going to close it down. Amen? The word diligently means to be assiduous. What? Like I said, word is the final word. Now, when I first read the definition of diligent, I'm like, assiduous. I don't even know what that means. So I, I don't even know what diligent means. So I had to go to the word assiduous. What does that word mean? That word means attentive, careful, and regular attention. So to be attentive and to have careful and regular attention to something. Right? The word seek means to inquire for, to ask for, to endeavor to find or gain by any means. So if I'm going to take that right there, then it says without faith, it is impossible to please him. For they that come to God must believe that he is, and a rewarder of them that gives careful, attentive, and regular attendance to inquiring after, asking for, and, and, and endeavoring to find him by any means. By any means. David said, I, I, I pan at you like a deer in a dry and thirsty land. Let me tell you something. Deer is a thirsty land. You ever watch National Geographic? Elephants will march miles to find a water hole. Some of them die along the way, but we're going to keep walking. Because we can smell them like somewhere around here. They can smell it and they walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. They seek after that thing with all their sin because they know it is the sustenance of their life. Do you believe today that he is the sustenance of your life? Do you believe today that he holds the breath of life in his hand? Do you believe today that he holds your salvation in his hand? Because if you believe that, then you will be one that gives careful attention and regular attention to seeking after you and finding you by any means necessary. He said, seek after me while I may be back. Amen? Amen. He is able to do, as I told what we need him to do. And he is able to do it when we need him to do it. He only asks that we recognize we are able and to trust him. And if you're willing to trust him and to give your audience his ability to be out. Amen. 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 Amen.